What's up, V2 crew? This is Unknown here, and we got another episode of the Trophies and Achievement Systems. The good, the bad, and the cringe, and today, our topic of discussion, boosting. So, boosting can cause you to play a game in unintended, or we'll say quote-unquote unintended ways to get trophies or achievements. Because you all know some of the uh, the boosting things, maybe some of you have done it, where you and a friend just run towards each other, headshot. Respawn, run towards each other, headshot. Respawn, run towards each other, headshot. Repeat a thousand times. Stuff like that that goes on in the boosting realm. And this would be something you wouldn't do normally i wouldn't imagine unless you really like to do that for some reason i i don't know but if there was no trophy or achievement tied to that would you even think about doing that i don't know i i wouldn't other things would be it could cause you to just have a friend or someone drop you an item that you need for a certain trophy on a forum or something asking around oh who has this shotgun, I need it for my achievement. Who has this equipment armor set? And then you just load in with that person and they drop you the armor, you pick it up, you put it on, and boom, trophy achievement. Again, that's not something that you would typically do in the normal course of gameplay. The other thing is it does encourage people to get carried through levels as well. Maybe you team up with someone that is level 100, and you're level 1, and they just run you through the entire game. Again, probably not gonna happen if there was no trophy or achievement tied to it. Unless you just like mindlessly tailgating your friend through lava pits filled with gigantic ice-throwing yetis i don't know how that would work because the ice would melt but hey maybe it's special ice okay so moving on from uh, playing games in unintended ways you could also meet new friends searching for boosting partners or or boosting groups and who knows maybe you get a friendship out of it maybe you boosted dark souls 3 or something and you, you had a good time, so you decided to become friends. And maybe that even extends outside of gaming, who knows. Uh, other things, while you are boosting, you could just mindlessly chat with your boosting party or your friend. And it could be about anything, it could be about life. The, how's the house doing, you know? Kind of a social aspect as well. Now, flip side of that, we do have the potential for bad boosting partners. Now, this, I've experienced this, uh, hopefully not too many of you have, but it'll be someone you meet online somewhere, and you're supposed to take turns getting the treatments or the trophies, and then they get theirs, and then they hightail it out of there, disconnect, they just leave. Then they just ghost you, and you, well, he did work for them, and that was it. Kind of wasted your time, and then you gotta find a new boosting partner, so that sucks. Don't be bad boosting partners, people. Do not be bad boosting partners. The other thing about boosting is coordination, and I'm talking both time-wise and gameplay-wise, Time-wise, because you have the time zones, I know I had a hard time doing this. Say you wanted to play with someone in another country, and then you had to convert their time to your time and set up meeting times. So not only matching up times, but then being available at those times. For example, if you're in the U.S. and your boosting partner is in Europe, well... You're probably not boosting at 9 o'clock U.S. time because it's going to be about like 3, 4 in the morning for them. Maybe they're a night owl, but you have that issue as well. 
Um, and then also coordinating things in the game itself. Uh, trying to get people in certain places where they need to be. Trying to discuss over um, Discord or whatever. Oh, you need to stand here while I stand here. Typically not too big of a deal, but that does happen. Other things that would come into effect with boosting would be purchasing more copies of games. Now, this would be maybe you're purchasing a game so that your friend you can help your friend out. Your friend encourages you to buy it so that you can boost. Or flip side, you encourage your friend to buy a game. And maybe they wouldn't have otherwise bought it. There's buying games... In regards to that, also, too, you might not buy a game um, otherwise, but the boosting thing seemed fun, so you and your friend were just like, hey, let's let's go buy this game and let's go boost this. Seems fun. Other things to consider, kind of similar, would be ignoring a game because of it, because um, you don't want to do the online and you don't want to do the boost. Kind of flip side there. Buying additional accessories or systems even, uh, just so that you could boost. I mean, I knew people that had additional systems, and they bought the systems purely so that they could boost games. Now, that is a, that is a step higher than buying a game just to boost it, and buying additional copies of the game. Buying additional controllers so that you can have four characters... For one system and this kind of goes ties into this but self boosting as well so there's not only the aspect of you can boost with somebody else some other person but there's also self boosting so this would just be you playing the game using two controllers or two systems or ten systems or what have you that's just also another another aspect to boosting that can come into play just do it all yourself. You, you're lone wolfing it. Now you can't do this on all the games. Some of them you have to do online. Like you can only have one character on your system. Well, I guess if you had two systems, but regardless. Or it, you definitely had to be controlling both characters. And you just couldn't physically do it with one person. Okay, I think that pretty much sums this topic up. Leave some comments down below if you have any additional input or if you have any additional ideas for future topics. I would love to hear them so we could talk about them. And if you'd like to join the V2 crew, that would be cool as well. Love to have you. And I'll post some links in the description to Twitch and Discord. And that being said... Everybody have a good night, good morning, enjoy your games, spread the positivity, you do you, and be your V2.